Greetings, I'm Woody, N4MQ. I wanted to put together a little video showing my uh, antenna tuner. Um, I'm putting together a large magnetic loop antenna. I've gotten it up and running for a couple of months now, but I'm not able to run more than 300 watts due to the uh, capacitor's limited voltage breakdown. My capacitor is 15 kilovolts, and that's just not making it. So what I've done is I've uh, reached out to Russia and bought a bunch of capacitors. So let me just show you how that all comes together. Let me get the camera off of its uh, holding stand there. Maybe. Okay, this is basically a quick sketch of what my antenna looks like. The antenna is 12 foot in diameter. It's one and an eighth inch copper. It's a magnetic loop that I run from 160 meters to 40 meters. And basically it's got a capacitor that tunes it. Over here we have an LC circuit. Essentially you have a large coil with a capacitor to resonate it. And it's tuned to your frequency of resonance. The way it works up on mine is I have a single turn coil, which is the drive coil for the transmitter. And then this loop sits up in the air. The top of the loop's about 18 feet high. The bottom of the loop's about 6 feet high. Currently I'm using a vacuum variable capacitor that's only 15 kilovolts in rating and I'm having a problem with uh, arcing over quite a bit. So what I've done is gotten uh, bigger capacitors and let me just show you what that is. What I've put together is this big box I'm going to be showing you and it has two capacitors in it. It has an electrode over here that feeds one end of the loop and then that goes to first capacitor which then goes to the other side of the loop. So that's always in the circuit. What I've done then is I've added a switch to be able to add in a 400 picofarad capacitor to give me a total of 800. So I can go anywhere from about 20 picofarads up through 800 picofarads, which would give me anywhere from 160 meters down to 40 meters, 1.8 megahertz down to 7 megahertz. And this is the box. And basically the large variable capacitors on this side and the fixed capacitors on this side. So let me just show you that. And this is my box. It's in the process of being assembled. Basically what I have over here is the copper pipe, one and an eighth inch copper, which has a fitting on it that's going to screw on. It's just a standard pipe flange. And the idea is that I can connect or disconnect this from the antenna for servicing. That electrode comes in and goes right to my first capacitor, which is a vacuum variable giant I got from Russia. Then the bottom connection goes straight across up to this capacitor, so both capacitors are connected together. And that connection goes up to the other side over here, which is the other connection, the other side of the tuning loop. So basically, between here and here, I have somewhere between 400 and 800 picofarads of capacitance. This first vacuum variable, which is a giant, um, 18 inches high, that's 400 picofarads. And then if I want to switch in the other 400 to give me a total of 800, this switch closes. What I have here is a magnetic actuator. It's a motor-driven device, 12 volts. And what it does is it raises and lowers my knife switch. This knife switch has been heavily modified. It was meant to be a three-pole double-throw switch. What I've done is I've taken all the contacts off of one side and doubled them up on the other side. So I now have two sets of contacts. And then to make even better connection, I bridged all three pairs together on the top and on the bottom. So essentially the switch now is one massive single pole switch, which is driven by this motorized actuator, which is a motor so I can control it from inside the house. So this is my uh, antenna tuner as it sits. It's 31 inches wide, about 18 inches high. And when I put it together, it's gonna to be mounted outside on a pole, this is going to fit over the existing 2 inch mast I have now. I'm using 2 inch PVC and then this uh, top piece forms the cabinet and then I'm going to cover the sides in clear plastic so the whole thing will be weather tight. But this capacitor down here, this is one horse of a capacitor. Um, there's a can of spray paint just for comparison. That thing is enormous. 45,000 volt rating, 45 kilovolts. And the other capacitor over here, which I had a hard time getting a hold of because the first two were shipped in a manner that got them broken. 
This capacitor here is 400 picofarads and it's also 45,000 volt rating. The reason for the rating is because I intend to run this bad boy at approximately a kilowatt on uh, 160 meters. Right now I can go about 300 watts, but uh, that's not enough. I want to be able to go full tilt, full power. And of course the workbench is filled up with just about every tool I could get my hands on here because I've been uh, putting this thing together. Once again, essentially what we have is the circuit. So it's uh, two capacitors, one fixed and one switched between the two ends of the uh, tuner. And what that does is it gives me the uh, resonant circuit down here. So this capacitor, as it shows in the diagram, this capacitor is shunted by this coil. This 12 foot diameter loop is actually a uh, inductor and between the two of them they're tuned very critically actually. Uh, the bandwidth on this thing is in the order of kilocycles. Um, a few kilocycles, very small. It's a very high Q antenna and the circulating current in this antenna is as much as 100 amperes and the voltage across this capacitor is up in the order of like 15 to 20 kilovolts depending on the frequency and the drive power. So I just wanted to put that together and share that with the community. I've been working on this for a while now and uh, this is going to be uh, quite an interesting production. So we'll see how it all turns out. Once again, this is N4MQ. My name is Woody. Y'all have a good day.